Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the review of the latest build of Windows 10 build 14986 for the creators update that will come in March of uh, 2017. So this has been a new build. It's been uh, released yesterday, December 7th, around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, basically, there are a lot of people that have problems getting this new Insider build right now. Donna Sarkar, about an hour ago, released a little statement saying, we know there's a problem with some people getting the download and um, they're trying to fix and find why some people are not getting it. I got it immediately as it was released, but uh, it seems that a lot of people don't have it. So hang in there, that's what she's saying. Eventually it's going to show up. Uh, check regularly, they're trying to find out why it's not working. So of course, this has been the first build in three weeks now. That uh, is the longest run without a build in quite a while. And uh, it's pretty cool to have something new. It does have a number of new features and uh, improvements. And of course, we're going to check that out in this video. It installed flawlessly once again, another flawless install for me, no errors, no blue screens. Took about 50 minutes. Again, typical install time for this Core i3 machine that I use for Insider Previews. And uh, when it was installed, of course, I got to the main screen. As you see here, the watermark at the bottom right says Evaluation Copy Build 14986. I've used it all day today, it was my main work machine today. I've watched videos, I've done tons of things with it. it doesn't crash, doesn't have much problems, except I have noticed that sometimes the notification or the action center panel does not show up. So when that happens, I have to restart the computer for this to work. So if you've got that going on, it's something that seems to be a glitch. I've uh, sent the feedback to Microsoft in the feedback hub to mention this. Uh, I think I'm not alone. A lot of people have already mentioned this. I had kind of a glitch with that some, from time to time in the last build, but this build, it seems worse. So for now it's working because I just restarted the PC, but um, after a while it stops working for some reason. So what's the new improvements in here? First, there's Cortana that has new improvements. It now has a full screen panel instead of a little panel when you ask for something. Um, it is intermittent, so sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. But when you say, hey Cortana, it actually pops up a panel uh, that is full screen. So uh, let's try something here. Um, hey Cortana. You see right now it's appearing just as a small panel, but uh, from time to time it does appear as a big panel. It, they've improved Cortana in several ways, by the way. Now it can actually turn off your PC. It can actually change the volume settings. It can also support music apps. So for example, you can say, hey Cortana, uh, and then say, uh, play Christmas music from iHeartRadio. And it's going to do that. It can launch from apps now. So uh, that's something new because before it was very limited and when it could do with different apps, they're improving that. So there's a lot of things, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, all of that can be used. Uh, it has support now for these apps um, when you are playing. And you can ask for things like... Uh, play, um, I've, I've even um, asked uh, play uh, 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 this style of music on YouTube and it actually did it. Not always, but from time to time it does. And um, basically uh, it now has a full screen from time to time. Unfortunately it doesn't do it right now. Hey Cortana, what's the weather like? So you see now it is a full panel. So uh, it didn't want to do it first. I find that interesting. You know what? I actually like this better than having a, um, a small panel on the left side that shows up. I think it's kind of cool. So now it actually responds to commands better. 
So uh, when you want to play something, you can ask it to, you know, start iHeartRadio and stuff like that. I think it's cool. And uh, the uh, Cortana improvements are nice. Uh, there's a new enterprise cloud printing. So there's the enterprise cloud printers discovery that you have in the settings in devices, printers and scanners to help corporates. Um, you know, if you're in a company, you need to have that printer from uh, the um, that that's somewhere in the cloud or, you know, that needs to be set up. So when you go into devices, and you look at um, basically it's uh, settings, devices, printers and scanners. Um, one of the things that you will have uh, in, in there is uh, you will have the possibility to find um, printers that are located on the cloud and stuff like that. So this is new and this is for enterprise mostly. Uh, the Windows game bar is improved, so when you press the Windows key and G to have the game bar, the Xbox game bar show up, it now has a full screen mode for 19 new games. So here you want, here do you want, uh, do you want to open the game bar? Yes, this is a game, uh, I ask you here, but um, basically it has support for 19 games. Uh, so uh, this is cool, a lot of games that weren't supported before. Windows 8 Ink improvements, so when you use the sketch, stuff like that, uh, the ability, ability to resume where you left off is improved. Uh, some people were uh, saying that they would lose some work sometimes when they would uh, use it. Now they've improved it to make sure that the, um, the uh, wh whatever you, you, you try to do is better. There's also improvements in showing, for example, the size of the pen, what it looks like, things that we didn't have before. So before you can use one of those, you will know what size of line it's going to do. Uh, that's helpful because, you know, frankly, when you use something like that, if you don't know exactly what's the size, it's not super useful. So, uh, you know, works great. And this is continuing improvement with Windows Inc. New Edge extensions are available. So if you go to the Microsoft Edge browser and you browse to the three little dots on the upper right corner, go to extensions, uh, get extensions from the store. There are a number of extensions. Some are not yet completely there, but they will show up eventually. So these extensions are uh, Ebates, Cashback, for example, is one. Uh, there's Temper Monkey, that is uh, one also. The Temper Monkey is for uh, people that um, use scripts and have user scripts. It's a user script manager. There's something called Read and Write uh, that also is added. Now, it's you see here, I don't have all of them. Uh, some of them are still in kind of a beta form, so they're not showing here yet. But in the next days and weeks, you'll see them, see them appear in here. And there's also Intel TrueKey. Uh, there's the U Universal Windows platform app rendering that are, that's changed. So on some Universal apps, the screen might look a little funky, uh, but it, um, it is an improvement. They're trying to make it better and uh, more seamless. Narrator has improvements built in. Um, the build includes a number of improvements to Narrator. Uh, keyboard shortcuts to hear additional information about fonts, color, line, spacing, margins, and more. Context awareness changes. It knows a little better where it is. You know, that's one of the things with Narrator. It doesn't always know where it is and it's a little problematic from time to time. Windows Defender uh, dashboard will be improved from, you know, slowly. They will actually uh, make this more of, you know, kind of, uh, if, if you look at the, um, the dashboard of other antiviruses, Often it has, you know, these buttons and it has kind of more information about everything is all right and you're monitoring this and that. So this interface of the Windows Defender is going to be tweaked uh, to actually have more uh, stuff. And Donna Sarkar did said, look, it's a work in progress. So don't, you know, it's not fully functional yet. Registry editor improvements. So when you're using that famous registry editor, regedit or regedit, depending on how you want to pronounce it, it's regedit exactly. 
Um, in the registry editor, now you can use the Alt plus up arrow to go up, Alt left arrow to go back, and Alt right arrow to uh, go forwards. So that will uh, have interesting, um, you know, shortcuts that you can use. They've changed a little bit the USB audio to class driver for those that need to use audio stuff. Uh, they've kind of um, played with it a little bit because it seems that the behavior was kind of strange sometimes on devices. There's the famous um, improved update experience. So um, basically, Windows Update is uh, going to ask you different things. For example, you know, before it was, okay, we're going to update at this time. But now it has a more friendly uh, side to it where it's going to say, well, okay, I don't know when I can update. Do you want to schedule an update? Do you want to do it now? Or just remind me later that there's an update to do instead of like just doing it and uh, basically going crazy. Also, simplified process for freeing up disk space when you are upgrading you know if you have one of those devices that has 16 gigs on the ssd it drives you crazy because you're at some point not having space to update they're improving ways to actually really really get a lot of space free and uh, for asia there's tons and tons of little things that are uh, improving and a lot of them were shown at the winec uh, show in china and this build includes several updates tied to Asia and Asian languages. So uh, if you're from that area of the world, you will have uh, some improvements also there. Now, what's fixed, improved or broken? Uh, they've improved the Windows Hello face recognition. So you might need, if you are using Windows Hello on this build, to actually go back to this build and um, just, you know, do a, a new recognition in the accounts in sign in options. You will have uh, improved recognition that you can check and go, th go through the improved recognition wizard. Some people were mentioning that sometimes it didn't recognize correctly. They updated the taskbar's context menu settings entry to now explicitly uh, be called taskbar settings. Uh, we fixed an issue where the visual touch pads left and right button might not show up on some devices uh, as we were talking in a virtual desktop or on something uh, that you display. There isn't always, you could you know, now have the on-screen buttons that show up to have um, basically a touchpad on the screen that you can use. Um, that was kind of interesting. Uh, they also fixed an issue where apps such as the store photos, people, uh, and so on might launch on their own after your PC has been inactive for a period of time. That was annoying. I had that all the time. And actually, if you look at my live shows, sometimes some of the panels were actually showing up in the middle of nowhere. They fixed the issue where navigating to settings, system, battery would crash. Change the default state of handwriting panel to be floating next to the next the text field rather than docked at the bottom of the screen. Uh, updated our, the migration logic so that going forward from this build, the default user's numlock settings will now be preserved, meaning that if you press that numlock key to have the numbers instead of having the, the, the arrow keys, it's going to remember that you want it like that. Fixed issues where double clicking on an Excel or a, uh, a file from File Explorer would crash. Um, issue fixed with Windows Hello that might get stuck looking for you. Fixed issue for insiders with the surface dial that had some problems. Uh, fixed moving some things around its storage settings. So that's going to be update for that soon. Fixed issue where PowerShell entry and File Explorer file menu would sometimes be unexpectedly grayed out. Fixed issue where the clock and calendar fly out in the task bar would launch when the display language was set to Chinese for some reason. Updated the full screen settings, search results to now use smaller icons. Uh, fixed issues where notifications might drop uh, too high or too low and then be seen moving itself to the correct position. Fixed issue with the outline of incoming notification tells could still be seen if notification banners as a whole for what that particular app had been turned off. 
uh, fix an issue where insiders may have experience um, where the favorites bar and desktop might appear empty. A uh, fixed issue that could result in CPU throttling when idling on certain web pages with many GIFs or looping videos in Microsoft Edge. Fixed issue that could result in uh, the Alt D command sometimes not being able to set focus to the address bar. Uh, insiders with PCs that upgrade to builds 14.926 to 14.959. Some default power settings may have been lost and not recovered on subsequent upgrades. Uh, the effect of this causes devices to potentially use more power than uh, is supposed to. So there's a lot of little things that are trying. You need to reapply the settings if uh, that's the case. Um, also, they've heard the feedback and updated the Windows error reporting logic so that uploading crash data should no longer interfere with online gameplay, video streaming or Skype calls or other network intensive activity. Uh, fixed issue resulting in the games from Microsoft Studios like uh, Sudoku, uh, Jigsaw, Minesweeper, Tab Tiles, and Treasure Hunt potentially freezing at the splash screen on launch. Fixed issue where the taskbar location was set to be on top. It was invisible on the welcome screen after the upgrade. So lots of fixed issues. Of course, it's three weeks between the last, the last built in this time. There are known issues in here, and the known issues are Using keyboard and monitor hotkeys to adjust brightness won't work. You have to go into the settings to do it. You may see a pop-up says catastrophic error dialog when opening OneDrive folders. Workaround is to open an elevated command prompt or PowerShell uh, and uh, enter a command that um, you can find online. Currently investigating reports that direct access isn't working for some insiders. Using Microsoft Edge with Narrator, you may hear no item in view or silence when tapping, tabbing or using other navigation commands. A Cortana play on doesn't work immediately after installing the app. Wait five minutes for Indexer to kick in again. So uh, it's um, a, a problem with the A Cortana command and the computer working. And currently, the Windows Defender dashboard is primarily aimed at providing some minimal read-only status for antivirus firewall, very limited functionality. Um, here are some of the known issues in the dashboard. Doesn't accurately roll up status of pillars. Doesn't accurately show status. Uh, history not yet available. Advanced custom scans not yet available. Settings are not configurable. Firewall control panel not launchable. Firewall settings not configurable, and so on. So this is what we have in the problems with this build. And of course, um, there's kind of a lot of little things here. Apart from that, it works really well. And once again, if you're one of those that doesn't have the build right now, be patient. Um, it, it should appear at some point to you. And uh, of course, um, I'll be posting in uh, probably a few more videos of different little things uh, because there's a lot in here and I think uh, it's uh, maybe worth it to uh, focus on some things a little uh, more. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. So this was my quick look and observations of the latest build of uh, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview 14986. Works great apart from that, except like I said, sometimes panels like the Action Center doesn't want to pop up, but uh, you see now it's working fine. Um, there's the A Cortana command that sometimes doesn't pop up the full screen um, stuff. Hey Cortana, what's the weather like? Right now, it's zero and partly cloudy. So it's pretty cool. I like the, the, the full screen panel actually, I gotta say. So uh, if you've installed 14.986, why not tell me what you think? How does it go with your PC? Do you have issues? Is it working right? Uh, anything? other that you noticed, I'll probably be posting uh, a few other videos about this uh, on the Windows 10 channel. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this quick look of this latest build and uh, hope you enjoy my videos.